Hello, and thank you for joining us for this presentation. This presentation is all about driving user adoption. Minimize training, maximize productivity. Now, a lot of you are asking, why should I watch this video? So here's a couple of questions to help you get to that answer. One, do your users work in MS Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, as well as Adobe Acrobat? Do documents needed for review arrive in MS Outlook? Do you need to provide a secure repository for your users? Do your users need version control and an audit history? Is it important to provide your users the ability to search for documents based on more than just a document name? Do your users like learning new interfaces? Is it important to have the solution blend into how they work today? If you answered yes to these questions, well, it probably makes sense to watch this video. So let's get started. Here we are in Microsoft Outlook 2013. I've got my inbox in front of me, and of course an email from Adam Storch right here that I need to get into the repository. And here's my Alfresco Outlook Client plugin. So let's search for the appropriate folder we want to get this into. I'll click Search. I'll type MSIIPO because that's the folder I want to get this into. I'll hit enter. Up pops a folder. Here's that folder I'm looking for. I click the link. And of course, here is my folder. Now, this is a correspondence, so I want to get this into the correspondence folder. Here is my correspondence folder, so all I do is drag and drop. Now, what happens is I instantly see a metadata screen. The name of the email will be the subject. That's what's going to use for the name. You see that up here, research report. I can put a title in here, my new email. And of course, I can put a description in, the best description. OK, and I can add other things like the document type. All right, and these are, of course, being fed by data lists managed by the users. So I scroll down, other fields here available to me, execution date, date signed, whatever uh, metadata fields are available to you by virtue of your configuration. OK, now I've, got, of course, got my attachments in here as well. So I can go next if I want, and I can put information here like title. This is really good. And I can put other things like doc type if I want, and we'll say this is uh, due diligence material, so I'll say diligence materials, and I'll hit save. And if I open up correspondence, of course, what do I have sitting in there? The email we just did, here it is, the research report, and of course here's the document. Now that's a nice location for that document, brought it in automatically, separated it out, very good, but that's not where this needs to go. This needs to go into the due diligence materials folder. So I grab it and just drop it in. And of course, if I want, I can re-enter the metadata as I see appropriate. All right, I don't need to, because I've already got it, so I'll just hit Save, and it'll keep the metadata that was already there. From here, I go to my Diligence folder, and of course, I just open up my file. Here's my document, so from here, I can do whatever edits I want to, to facilitate completing this review process. And I suddenly realized, you know, I want to take a look at the financial model around this particular situation. So I'm going to go to Open Alfresco, and I present it with this screen. I'm going to look up the MSI IPO folder, because that's where my stuff is sitting. Simply name the name, the search. Here, of course, is that folder. And if I want to look at a model, I'm going to go to the Models folder. And here's my monthly project budget. And we all know what normally happens when you open up an Excel model inside Word. In this example, when I click on it, all right, and I hit open, what happens is what really should happen. Up pops Excel. Here's my Excel document. So from here, I could do whatever ed edits I need to do, review, whatever needs to happen, and so forth. And I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, hmm, what were the terms and conditions for this particular situation? I need to look at another document. So I'm going to go to Open from Alfresco. And of course, my old friend, MSI IPO. Do a nice little search here. Up pops that folder. But I want to look at the terms and conditions. So let's go into Legal and the executed contracts, and here is a PDF document. So I'm sitting Excel, and I'm about to open up a PDF document. Again, we all know what happens when you try to do this, and it's not in the right application. But we're in Excel, we're going to open up this PDF, and we're going to see what happens. Up pops, of course, the PDF document. So I'm able to review that document. So here are my terms and conditions. All right, this looks pretty good. I'm, gonna, I'm done with this. I'm going to close this out. And I'm not really making any changes, so I'm just not going to say keep this lock open. Nope. 
And if I want, I can close Acrobat at this point in time. If I hit Exit, same premise. I've looked at my Excel spreadsheet. It's very moving. If I want, I can add some stuff. So for the fun of it, we'll, we'll add some information. So if I want to update my Excel, I could. So I'll go to File, Save to Alfresco. Of course, it takes me straight to that document. And of course, if anybody else were to come in, they'd be able to see who's got this opened right now, who created it, okay, right there. And you can also see who's got it locked right now. I've got it locked, but Jason was the creator. Okay, so you see that? And of course, down the right, you see the metadata you'd expect to see. This is your custom metadata. Content type is deal document. This happens to be a model. I can change this if need be. I can also add some nice comments if I want. I'm good with the model, the basic changes I made. I hit save. I'll make this a major change. Really big changes. All right, and I hit OK. And now I've saved the information on my Excel model. Here we are back in Microsoft Word, and from here I can add some additional content or do whatever updates need to. Do my updates. So once I've finished editing my document and I'm all good to go, I of course can save it back into the repository. File, Save to Alfresco. And of course, here is that document locked by me. I can save that document or check that document back in. On the right, you see the metadata for this document. Remember, initially, when we brought the document in from our drag and drop in Outlook, we added a title. This is really good. And of course, due diligence materials or diligence materials was the doc type. So I can also add a comment if I want to change the appropriate metadata and then hit save. Make a new version. We'll say this is a big change. And then we'll hit OK. Our document saved back into the repository. Of course, it closes the document. I'm all good to go. Let's go back to Outlook. So now here I am sitting in Outlook. From here, I've got my document in Seaford. i got to get this back to Adam. So I hit Reply. And I say, Hi, Adam. Please take a look. And of course, I got to bring my attachment in. So I just go over to my panel here, drag and drop it back in. And all I do is hit send. And now that reply is back to Adam for him to review. So what did we see? Well, we saw the ability to save emails directly into the repository from MS Outlook. We saw the ability to search for documents from inside MS Office applications as well as Adobe. And of course, the ability to edit document properties from within the Office applications as well as Adobe. Now, would you like to see more? How about the ability to access your recent documents? So the last 10, 15 documents that you've been working on without having to do any searching. How about the ability to search on custom document properties that you've already set up? So let's talk about searching on those custom properties from within Office and Adobe. There's many more features. I highly recommend that you request a live demo. We appreciate your time and we look forward to hearing from you. Feel free to reach out to us so we can help you like we help our clients.